Hello, my dear Dhamma friends. Today, I am going to speak about a very important topic to all of you. Now, as Buddhists, you, we, we, we all have what we call a triple gem. Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. We all know about them. We all worship them. We have stanzas to worship them. That is the ultimate goal of all the Buddhists. To worship them, to get their blessing. Do Lord Buddha. Does Lord Buddha protect you? Do Maha Sangha protect you? We all go to Lord Buddha and ask protection from him. We worship him. We offer so many things to him and we always ask protection from him. We go to Mahasangha and we pay our respects, we offer so many things and we ask protection from him. Can Lord Buddha protect you? Can Mahasangha protect you? Simply, Lord Buddha cannot protect you. You have to understand that. Simply, Maha Sangha cannot protect you. Lord Buddha never protects anybody. Do you know about Daru Chiriyatera? He dies because of a bull. Lord Buddha saw that. That monk went past Lord Buddha and he died. Did Lord Buddha protect him? Did Lord Buddha prevent his death? No. Also, Matta Kundali, he died because of his illness, because of his father, actually. Did Lord Buddha protect him? Lord Buddha went to Matta Kundali, but did he prevent Matta Kundali's death? He didn't. But Lord Buddha went to Daru Chiriyatera and taught him a stanza. After his death, he could go to heaven because of Lord Buddha. He did that, yes, but he did not prevent Daru Chiriyatera's death. And also, he went to Matukundali and he showed his presence. Because of that, Matukundali could be born in heaven, but he did not prevent his death. Lord Buddha did not protect anybody like that way. So if you have any trouble in your lives, don't ask protection from Lord Buddha. He never does that. All the other religious people in other religions, they ask protection from their teacher, but not Buddhists. We don't do that. We don't need protection from Lord Buddha or Mahasangha. Actually, Mahasangha also can't protect you. How can they protect you when even you are protecting them? Thing is, you are protecting Mahasangha. Because of you, Mahasangha uh, gets so many things. Protection from you. They can't protect you. Don't confuse things. Protection is another thing. Blessing is another one. Lord Buddha, he blesses you. Mahasangha, they bless you, but they do not protect you. Only think in triple gem who protect you is Dhamma. Dhamma Havi Rakhati Dhamma Chari. Dhamma is the thing, only thing that protects you. You know, when you are living, when you are in, in the society, you do so many things. Sometimes there are certain instances where you can act and you have to do bad things. You get the chance. Nobody sees you. Nobody looks at you. You can do that wrong thing anyway, but you don't do that. But you don't go in that way. You think about that as it's not good. It's not a good thing. It's not a, a, pro a proper thing for me to do. And you don't do that. But there are other people, they take that chance and they 
do so many things and they become wealthy and they live happily in the society even though you don't do that that's how you respect dhamma that's how you uh, worship dhamma that's the way to worship dhamma there is lord buddha statues in temples or pictures you can go to the lord buddha and you can worship him there are mahasangha you can go go to them and you can worship them but to uh, dhamma there is nothing as in such a way for you to worship only way to worship dhamma is by living in proper way that's the way to worship dhamma that's how dhamma can protect you if you live in a correct way in the society that proper way will protect you if you behave in the society as a in in a, in a wrong way that wrong behavior will ultimately uh, destroy you that's the ultimate truth so remember lord buddha does not protect you dhamma does uh, mahasangha does not protect you only dhamma will protect you but they always bless you may the tripajan bless you